Let's talk about the psychology of when to take profit. Here's my suggested path for most people, and maybe something I will do this time myself, is we don't know what the cycle peak is going to look like. We don't quite know when it's going to be. We do know it would be crazy early if it finished this year. Usually, the back part of the year after the US election, there's usually a screaming pump into the end of the year. So my advice is use that in terms of time and not price and take maybe a third off the table for lifestyle chips. Many investors are contemplating the opportune moment to start cashing in their profits, aiming to avoid being caught in another brutal crypto winter marked by significant 80 to 90% declines. The prevailing sentiment suggests that we are currently transitioning from a crypto spring to a crypto summer indicating that there's still ample time for crypto asset prices to ascend further before reaching their peak in 2025. Most experts estimate that this cycle will persist for another 12 to 18 months, implying that all profit-taking actions must be executed within this time frame. For Raul Pal, founder and CEO of Real Vision, profit-taking is a nuanced matter that demands precise timing to seize what he deems the greatest investment opportunity ever bestowed upon humanity. Pal advocates for a long-term investment horizon, advising investors to ride the ups and downs of the crypto market waves. In a recent video on his YouTube channel, Pal reminisces about his initial Bitcoin investment, admitting he could have reaped greater rewards had he not sold prematurely. While acknowledging the potential value of timing the market, Pal believes it's wiser to stay invested until at least 2030, foreseeing a forthcoming technological revolution that will reshape the world beyond recognition. He emphasizes the importance of patience and conviction in navigating the volatile crypto landscape for long-term success. Let's talk about the psychology of when to take profits, the cycles that we know are there, And let's just think it through together because it's going to vary for everybody. And that's a key thing. So as we know, crypto is very cyclical based on this everything code thesis that I've built, which is there's a debt refi cycle that happens every four years because everybody reset their interest rates in 2008 to zero and then made all the government debts in around four years, three to five years. And it's created this endless cycle, which happens to be the same as the Bitcoin halving cycle and the US presidential cycle. So we, we're faced with these cycles. And out of three years, crypto is the best performing asset in the world in year one, crypto spring, year two, crypto summer, year three, crypto fall, um, and macro spring, summer, fall. And then year four is the worst. And the worst is what scars people. And people want to know how to deal with this. How I think about it first is you've got to establish what are your goals here? What is your time horizon for your investments? So if you're saying, my big macro thesis is this space goes from, let's say, $2.5 trillion today to, let's say, 10 to $15 trillion at the end of this cycle, depending how big this cycle is, to $100 trillion by, let's say, 2032. So we've got the largest wealth-generating macro trend of all time, and it's still in front of us. Yes, the early days were super high returns, but it's still super high returns. So we don't want to f*** this up, right? We want to capture that. So a lot of people start thinking, well, should I trade out in macro crypto fall, try and sell that peak and then buy in the bottom, um, and then I don't have to go through the horror of the 75% drawdowns? So for those of you who don't need the money now, then I would take that cycle, the down cycle, with utter joy and add. Expect to see an 80% drawdown. Maybe it's less this time. Maybe it's more. Solana was down 97% this time. ETH was last time down 97%. And embrace it because every time you buy those lows, you're going to 10, 20, 50x, depending what you're buying. Just some major coins, right? So it is a huge wealth generator. If you imagine Solana last year, was a 10x in the first in crypto spring. We haven't got to summer or fall yet. We're just transitioning to summer now. So if you've got a long-term time horizon, you will definitely make more money by following that route. Buy the sell-off. Embrace it. Have cash ready for it. Right now, we're probably in the last opportunity to put cash into the market. Um, so if you've got cash or you're waiting, now is the last chance 
because after this, we hit the banana zone and everything goes a bit crazy. Um, and then it becomes unbuyable and your entry levels, you know, if we do have a bear market, then you're below water. We should, you should not be from these levels. So, or not by much anyway, these are good final levels to jam in as much as you can. Okay. So if you're the long-term person, wait for, for 2026 and go, yeah, I can't believe I can get more and compound more wealth. Get some cash ready for that and be ready when everybody's panicking. You be the person to stand up and say, ha, huh, I got money. The other route, a bunch of you say, well, I want to take everything off the table. I don't want to deal with the stress of the down markets. That's fine too, right? We all need to understand our own uh, psychology and our behavior patterns. I can't help with timing the top. I know that it should be by my work sometime in summer to um, winter of 2025. Here's my suggested path for most people, and maybe something I will do this time myself, is we don't know what the cycle peak is going to look like. We don't quite know when it's going to be. We do know it would be crazy early if it finished this year. Usually the back part of the year after the US election, there's usually a screaming pump into the end of the year. So my advice is use that in terms of time and not price and take maybe a third off the table for lifestyle chips. Okay, now you can buy your car or your house if you're lucky or whatever it is or some extra savings, right? Take some money out of uh, crypto land, put it into fiat world where you live, secure your lifestyle, the things that matter to you. Right, now you've taken all of the pressure off. You've done it via time and not price, which is towards the end of the year, I'm going to take a third off. I don't really care what the price is because it will be up a lot. So I'm just going to take it off. And then now I've de-risked my life so I can run 2025 more intelligently. So 2025, you can then run with the rest of the money that you've got, the two-thirds remaining. And you can say, okay, I'm going to take some off by about the summer if I wanted to take more off. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just run the rest because you've now de-risked your lifestyle. That's my favorite approach. But what I would have a tendency to do is if we do get a mega pump, the 2013-17, then take another third off when that happens. If it doesn't and it gets stunted, it doesn't matter. You've taken a third off, you've protected your lifestyle, and then you can then buy some cash with that. If you keep that cash, you can buy the dip or you, you, you use it to, as I said, for your lifestyle chips. But this way, you're now ready for whether it, it stops early. You don't care because you've taken your money off the table, but you're still in the game. Right? That being in the game is the secular trend. That's the most important thing to me. But if it really goes wild, you take a bit more off, and you can put it into the lifestyle chips bank. And then you've still got a position. Because if you don't have a position in a secular market, I think you end up making suboptimal choices. So that's how, now you might not say a third, maybe it's 50% for you. It doesn't matter. What I'm trying to give you is an, an idea of not trying to nail the top, I'm trying to think in terms of time zones and then how much lifestyle chips de risks your life. Because I think it's too important a trend to f this up. So that's the best advice. I can give. I will probably do the third off strategy uh, this time around because I've got some lifestyle stuff I want to do. I did not last time, and I was bloody happy with not doing anything but buying the dip. I will absolutely buy the dip in 2026 because this trend is going to keep going. Remember, two and a half trillion to 10 to 15 trillion. 15 is the pump. The 10 trillion should be normal to 100 trillion. That's the game we're playing here. Let the, 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 the cyclicality be your friend. Understand that there are seasons that you can use to your advantage. We are transitioning right now, and I'm talking to you, this is Sunday the 12th of May, I'm recording this. We are just transitioning where we're about to hit crypto summer. And that usually happens June, July of the season cycle. And then it goes bananas. Of course, there will be corrections and there will be sharp corrections. 30, 40% can happen but it usually goes up into the banana zone from here. Um, that's when you've got to be careful not to lose your mind and f*** up doing other things you shouldn't be doing, like putting all your portfolio into meme coins because they're going up the most because you want to maximize profit. Think of this as a longer-term game. You'll make plenty of money if 
you stay with a secular trend in the big tokens and have a small amount to play in the other stuff. 